man charged with killing two people at Park Tavern while driving drunk is set to make his first court appearance today. Court records show he has a long history of drinking and driving. Bill Calder is live in St. Louis Park uh, with a restaurant where, of course, all of this happened. Plans to reopen today. Bill, good morning. Good morning, Alex and Tom. In fact, doors set to reopen at noon, but it will be anything but business as usual. In fact, when customers return, they will see that growing memorial to the victims behind me. And prosecutors say the man now charged with causing this deadly crash, he lived just within walking distance and should have never been behind the wheel. 56-year-old Stephen Bailey has been charged with two counts of criminal vehicular homicide and nine counts of criminal vehicular operation. That's one charge for each person killed or injured in Sunday's crash. After his arrest for drunk driving through that crowded outdoor patio, prosecutors say he had a blood alcohol level of 0.325. Some context, that is more than four times the legal limit to drive, and according to medical journals, it's enough to cause alcohol poisoning, surgical amnesia, and onset of coma. When police tried to perform field sobriety tests, Bailey told them they didn't need to because he knew what he did. Stephen Bailey has a history of drunk driving, including five DWI arrests going back to his teens. Most people who get charged with a DWI don't come back. It's a wake-up call. And so someone who has prior DWIs, who still doesn't make a plan uh, if he's going to drink to get home safely, uh, is hugely problematic regardless of whether he had a license or not. Charging documents detail how Bailey struck two cars while trying to park before ultimately speeding across the parking lot upwards of 40 miles an hour and into that outdoor patio, killing two people and leaving others critically injured. Over the past several days, customers and friends of the victims have been visiting this memorial, now full of tributes to those killed, including longtime server Christina Folkerts and Gabe Harvey, a health unit coordinator at Methodist Hospital. In fact, this afternoon, Park Tavern will hold an open house for those hospital employees so they can grieve Gabe's loss and show their support for co-workers who were injured in this crash. Now, when Park Tavern does reopen its doors at noon, uh, we are told that grief counselor will be available to those staff members who may need someone to talk to as this popular restaurant, Bowling Alley, tries to move forward from this weekend's tragedy. Tom and Alex, Stephen Bailey has been held without bail since the deadly accident on Sunday night, and he is due to make his first appearance in court. That is scheduled for 1.30 this afternoon. Back yeah. to you. Just devastating for those families involved and all the employees. Um, all right, uh, we'll see what happens with that one. Bill Keller from uh, St. Louis Park there. Thank you.